What's up guys, I'm George Lahop, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to build the original Maslow frame. Check it out. The first thing we're gonna do is reconnect the motors to the Maslow. Just a reminder, when you're facing the Maslow, the cable connected to port three connects to the left motor, and the cable connected to port one connects to the right. I'm then gonna attach the second piece of plywood to the Maslow using two clamps. Once we've connected this and reattached the router, I'm now gonna generate the G-code for the Maslow. I'm gonna open up MakerCam and then open up the SVG file that's provided by the Maslow website. And I'm gonna load the profile that they suggest. From here, I'm gonna generate the G code, which I can then open from the ground control software. Once that's loaded up, I'm gonna use the arrows at the top right to move the router to the position I want, and then I'm gonna click Define Home, which will move the design to where the router is placed. Once I click the green start button, it'll actually start cutting the design to what we've loaded. After seeing the router cut on its own, I saw that it wasn't cutting to the exact design, so I tried to help it out by using my hands. After looking at the forums, I read that this wasn't the correct way to do it, and you're just supposed to let the router cut on its own. You can tell at this point that the temporary frame doesn't cut accurately at all. At this point I decided I would cut each of the parts once with the Maslow and then I will take that part, draw it out on the plywood and cut the rest by hand. If you have the hand tools I recommend skipping the temporary frame altogether and taking the designs and cutting out the final frame from the start. It will save you a lot of plywood and a lot of time and be a lot easier by the end of the day. I then begin to disassemble the temporary frame. If you know you've cut your motor mounts correctly, you can actually keep the motors on the mounts and reuse them later, which will save you some more time. Next, we can start to put together the parts for the final frame. So to give you guys a good idea of how this is laid out, I have leg number one on the right, leg number two on the left, and leg number three is on the bottom in between the two of them. And then for the braces, I have brace number one on the left, I have brace number two on the right, which connects to legs one and three. And on the top here, I have brace number three. So when we're attaching these, what we're gonna wanna try and do is keep the edge of the uh, legs flush with these braces. So I'm gonna keep this as close to the edges as possible so that when the plywood's laying against the legs, if there's no give to it, that should be flush up against the legs. All right, so now if you have a drill, it's a good idea to drill some pilot holes, but we're gonna drill four of the short wood screws through each of the braces into the legs. Um, trying to, again, keep the edges of the brace as flush against the legs as possible. Check it out. Once we've assembled the legs, we're going to place leg number four on the back of the plywood at the top. These pieces will actually hang on top of the legs. I'm gonna measure the distance from the edge of the plywood so that they're evenly distanced apart, and I'm gonna screw these pieces into the back of the plywood. At this point, I'm gonna attach the arms that were cut out from the Maslow to the two x four arms that we had cut before. And then I'm gonna attach the motor mounts to this arm. It's important to ensure that the 2x4 is closer to the thicker part of the Maslow arm and that the motor is mounted so that the hole is at the upper point and that the chain guide is facing upwards. After we've assembled this, we can attach the arm to the final frame. At this point, we're gonna attach the uncut 2x4 to the bottom of the Maslow to allow us to add the tensioners to the bottom of the Maslow. At this point, I rechecked the sled to make sure that the cut was according to the design, and I actually found that it was actually a couple inches off. So I decided to redraw the lines and cut it out myself, and then redraw the holes. Unfortunately, I don't have the right tools for this, so my cuts were still a little bit rough, but I figured I could recut this once I had the final frame built.
Once I had the dimensions close, I could start attaching all the parts to the sled using the provided bolts and screws. From here, all I have to do is reattach the cup hooks, the string, the chain, and all the original parts from the temporary frame to this final frame to complete the Mazda. Alright guys, so those were all the steps on how to cut the Maslow frame and how to put together the original frame for the Maslow. Just to let you guys know, during the time I've put together this frame and put together this video for you guys, they've actually released all of their new designs. So these are new designs that were taken from the community based on different upgrades and mods to make it more accurate and a better Maslow uh, design. So just to let you guys know, those are up there now. Uh, again, this is the original design, the original one they had put out there. I will be making more videos on the Maslow, including some of those new designs and doing some comparisons to see tolerance of the original one versus those new designs to help you guys figure out which one you want to build. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment those below also. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like below. If you want to see more videos like this, again, more videos on the Maslow or other cool products I'm going to be putting out there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thanks again for watching, guys.